So I did another big eBay lot, and this one I dropped a little bit over $100, which is way more than I would normally do on an eBay lot. But it seemed worthwhile, even though the pictures were awful. Uh, so I just wanted to walk through the results. Uh, so I haven't even touched these yet. They came in. I did a quick inspection for myself just to familiarize myself with them. Uh, but now I'm going to do a deeper inspection. The first of them is this. This is a champion fountain pen, some sort of plastic. Looks pretty old. Lever fill. It's an old steel nib. You can see the sort of brassing is wearing off there. Looks pretty beat up. Probably not really going to be something I'm going to put too much time into, but I'll investigate what a champion pen is and see. I wouldn't put the value of this one at more than maybe five or six dollars. Maybe uh, it'd be a good restoration, but that's not really my thing. Next up, we have this. Looks like a Parker Jotter. Oh, Parker Jotter pencil. Very nice. I don't have one of these. So we see. Can't immediately tell what generation it is, but it works. That's good. Stainless steel, that's good. It does not have brass threads, which makes me think it's a newer model. So this is probably just a very recent model, Parker Jotter pencil, maybe under five years old would be my guess, but who knows? Again, I'll just put the value of this one at about $5. Next up, we have this. This is, oh, it's definitely plastic. It's an Etoya paper skater. Feels very cheap. Feels like a throwaway pen to me. It's a roller ball. Euro roller ball refill. Etoya refill, so and that on its own would be worth a few dollars. But the body of this pen feels very cheap. Not something I would probably use. And the refill doesn't work. So a very limited value there. I'm gonna put that one at, I'm gonna call it zero. Not quite sure what this is. Oh, uh, it's a Waterman made in France. Stainless steel body, pretty reasonable size, good looking pen. Uh, it looks pretty rough. Yeah, so this one is shot, clearly not put away properly. Front end is worn out, uh, quite rusty. Probably ruined, I would say. Body might be okay, but that nib section, it's integrated, so there's really nothing you can do there except do a restation, restoration or replace it. It's probably shot. So maybe I'll look for a new nib and feed section for this. Uh, but that one, despite the really good condition on the outside, it's probably gonna be a wash as well. Again, zero dollars. Not quite sure what this in. Uh, Okay, you could just make it out there that it's a Schaefer. Maybe this clip would be more obvious if I knew Schaefer pens better. It looks a little bit like a Sentinel, I guess, so that's true. Schaefer, fountain pen. Nib actually looks to be in pretty good shape. It says Schaefer 585, so gold nib. 14K, it's 585, 58.5%. I don't know what size it is. It looks like a confined to a medium. Uh, the refill was left in there. I mean, the cartridge was left in there. It's not, not ever a good sign, but I'll give this one a clean, see how it does. Don't know too much about Schaefer's, but looks like with a little bit of cleaning, it could be an okay pen. I'll put that one at $10. Next up, we have this. This is a really nice heft to it. You can see some rust around there. 
like this one has seen better days. Uh, good size fountain pen. Definitely put away dirty. Again, never a great sign. Oh, it's a Yaffa. Yaffa's like a pen importer here in the US. I think for a while they sold their own pens. They might still, again, put away dirty. Uh, that's one of the things that happens with these uh, eBay lots. All these pens, they were just thrown in a baggie and just shipped off, which is kind of insane when you see what we're getting to. And the reason I bought the lot, it wasn't, as you might suspect, from these first six pens. So again, this one, it looks like it's just ready for a clean. So might be okay if I can get that section and nib, or sorry, the feed cleaned out. Put that one at $5 again. And the pictures of this lot were insane. It looked like they were, you know, shot with a digicam from the late 90s. But I was able to identify this pen from a, literally a picture like this big of just up here. I kind of hoped it was this. And it was, this is a Rotring Jazz. It's a really nice pen. It's in this green color. Uh, I forget what it's called. It's like Bavaria green or something like that. I have it on, I'll put it below in the notes. Looks to be in very good condition. Not mint, but very good. Uh, no rusting, no chipping. Paint is in good shape, which is really nice. And there's a limited collection of garbage down here. I guess there's a little bit of a nick right there but overall really good shape. Click works, clip release works. This is actually in better condition than one of my jazzes. And look, full size Rotring refill. Very nice to see. I would bet this does not work. That would be a nice bonus. It's like a $5 refill. Nope. So Rotary Jazz, I put that at about maybe $40 value, give or take. And you can see this one really has the color change. Look at this. It's definitely, to my eye, looks very green right now. And now look at it. Totally blue. So these things are very cool. Last is the real reason I bought the lot, and that's this pen. Uh, this is a Rotring 600. It is a rollerball. I actually would have guessed it would have been a fountain pen. So maybe I'm a little bit disappointed, but it's a beautiful rollerball. It's in really superb shape. A good way to tell that is from these little gears right here. They look brand new. So that's great. Cap's in great shape, and there's no wear up here a lot of times this got worn out and said it looks brand new so that's great if you see little uh scratching of the paint there that means someone was just spinning it compulsively this is all in near new old stock condition really nice to see this is a made in germany model uh, some of these were made in japan in the later stages uh so like the this is a rotring 600 so this would have been made in Germany, but if this was a, a Newton with a smooth sec, a smooth grip here, then it definitely would have been made in Japan. So it's nice to see it's made in Germany. The body looks like it could use a little bit of a clean, uh, but in really good shape. Knurling is practically new. And then the top is great shape. No refill here, uh, not a huge deal. No real, maybe a little bit of discoloration, but nothing bad there. And uh, no spring. No, no spring, I'll find a spring, that's not a big deal. But yeah, so this is like a new, or like new condition, but not new old stock. Rotring 600. I put the value at this one at maybe 150. Prices on these have been a little bit lower than they've been, so. Oh, 150, 200, and maybe, you know, someone will give you for like $10 to this whole lot, unless I'm totally missing something. So I think that's a pretty good score. I don't really buy pens in order to resell them, but if you are doing a lot, it's nice to keep track of just how you're doing. Like, should I have just went out and bought a Rotring 
And you know, once you kind of risk weighted that, you might be better off spending $150 knowing exactly what you're getting instead of spending like 115 or whatever this cost and possibly just gotten a bunch of garbage. So a uh, little bit of a gamble, but interesting nonetheless. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, let me know and I'll, I'll keep going with these lots. Uh, it is a little bit off there. It's annoying. Anyway, if uh, you like this, I'll keep going with these lots. If not, uh, I won't bother. So that covers it. Thanks for watching.